This week, we highlight another life well lived. It's a story that begins in the 1940s with a black teenager who loved to build things. His high school guidance counselor said he should become a radio repairman, advice he did not take. Instead, he would go on to become the first black engineering student at what is now known as Kansas State University. And for Dr. John Brooks Slaughter, that was just the first of many firsts. Dr. John Brooks Slaughter once said he was the first black engineer he ever met, and he worked tirelessly to change that, bringing diversity not only to his field, but to entire college campuses. Slaughter began his career in 1956 after receiving a doctorate in engineering. Years later, in 1980, he was appointed head of the National Science Foundation by President Jimmy Carter, becoming the first black person to be named director of the independent agency. He left NSF after just two years, taking a job as chancellor at the University of Maryland College Park and later president at Occidental College, becoming the first black person to hold those high positions on both campuses. If I ran into a barrier, it just strengthened my commitment to overcoming it, to prove to people that, that I was as good as anyone else. In every place he worked, Slaughter always championed diversity and worked to bring more opportunities to women and minorities. He was born in 1934 in Topeka, Kansas, and as a child would tinker with his toys, even building his own. He credited his parents with believing in him and encouraging him to follow his heart, even if they didn't always understand what he was doing. Dr. John Brooks Slaughter, a trailblazer who brought change to colleges and to his beloved engineering field, died earlier this month in California. He was 89 years old. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or Click the link right here.